Okay, um, I, my name is Penny Weapon. I've worked in climate change science for 25 years uh, with CSIRO. Currently I'm an honorary researcher with CSIRO and with the University of Melbourne. Um, and my subject area has been projecting future climate change at the regional scale. Like how much warmer is it going to get here and which places are going to get wetter, which places are going to get drier what's going to happen to extreme events in Australia or in other parts of the world. The sort of details of what the future climate change could be like. Um, and the reason that that's useful is that um, it's only by actually fleshing out that detail will we get a better understanding of why we want to avoid future climate change. Um, uh, so it feeds into decisions around reducing greenhouse gas emissions. But since some climate change is also inevitable, it helps with what we call adaptation. And that is, how can we plan so, so that those climate changes don't have such an impact on, on ourselves and on, on the environment. What do you hope people will take away from this science march? Oh, just really the importance of science. I mean, it's... And, and how it has to be at the core of so much of our decision making in society. Um, evidence based policy is, is what we need. It's, you know, the scientific approach is, is the only really way that we can develop knowledge of how the world operates. Um, and that needs to be the basis for the decisions we make. And I mean, in the climate change area where I work is, is a classic example of that. Um, you know, based. Um, if we. Are not, if we were to not pay attention to the science or respond to the science, we would be leading, just going blind into a, a climate change crisis. Um, we may, we in fact still are, because maybe the science is not being paid attention to as much as it should be. Um, but we have no other way of dealing with that threat except by listening to the scientists. Mm -hmm. It seems like science gives us at least some ground on which to stand, mutual ground really, on which to stand to adjudicate um, between make, making decisions in certain directions, actions against another action. Yeah. I mean, science is grounded in something real. Um, in, in a lot of other decision, human decision making, you have arguments against people who have adopt positions based on ideology or first, um, you know, financial interests or whatever. Um, but when science comes into those arguments, it's not from that perspective. It's from the perspective of um, knowledge about the world, grounded facts about the world. That, that it, scientists don't just adopt a position. We explain how the world really is. And, and that's what we have to, to deal with as we make decisions. Hmm, absolutely. So what are you most um, optimistic about with regard to the future of science and how it benefits society? <laughs> Um, it's a difficult to answer because I can't, it's very easy to be pe pessimistic um, because we see that science, I think there's been an erosion in respect to science and that's something that we need to, to turn around. Um, I think part of the reason for that is that some areas of science have been very challenging to establish interests and climate change again is a classic example of that. Um, I think um, what's really important here is, as it is in so many areas, I think is, is education. We need to um, make sure that people know how to um, critically evaluate information that comes their way and to recognise when information has got a solid scientific basis and when it may not. Um, there's so much information that's readily available to people these days through, through the internet. Um, uh, and I don't think people necessarily grow up with the skills on how, how to evaluate that information and pick out the most reliable stuff. So I think um, what's terribly important, I think, is is, get, is education, educating people to better um, take a, to critically assess the information that comes their way and to be able to recognise where stuff is based on the scientific approach and where it isn't. Excellent. Yep. Awesome. Well, it's been wonderful having okay. you and I really okay. appreciate well, it. Yeah. <laughs>